It's Ash's Corner coming back to you with part two of the things that transpired last night on the zone with Ryan Garcia versus Javier Fortuna. Always like and subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. Let me get on to it, okay? Um Ryan Garcia was the winner last night. He looked good, he looked really good. But his opponent did not try to win, did not come in shape. And you can't really judge how good Ryan actually is because of how poor Fortuna fought and how poor he came in shape, okay? So beyond that, if you haven't heard what I had to say about the fight, go back to part one. This is part two. And this is about what Ryan Garcia had to say after the fight in the ring when they came in there and, you know, let him say everything he had to say. Um, Ryan Garcia said this. You came into this fight, Ryan. You were a full-fledged 140-pounder for this fight. What kind of difference did that make? Oh, uh, 100%. You know, I felt way better. I'm not going back down to 135 for nothing, but I will fight Tank next. If Tank wants that, uh, Now, I'm with it, Ryan. Me being a Javante Davis fan, I'm with you fighting Ryan, fighting uh, Javante Davis. And I still think he beat you. It is what it is. Um, I believe Ryan Garcia is chinny. And nothing's going to stop what I'm thinking until he fights a real power puncher and gets hit in the chin and show me some leather face. But that hasn't happened yet. So, he fought Luke Campbell. Luke Campbell's not a puncher. Luke Campbell dropped him off one punch. Period and point blank. But... What I'm going to say is, if you are admitting that you are 140 pounds and you're not going down for nothing, why are you calling out people that's at 135? You fought two people that's 100. Actually, to go and, and Fortuna can both make 130. They can. With a good training camp and a, a nutritionist, both of them can make 130 pounds. But both of them fought at 135, and you fought both of them at 140. Okay, cool. Cool. You fought <laughs> you fought them. You went the distance with one and stopped the other. You stopped Javier Fortuna. Javier Fortuna was not even in shape to fight at 140 or 130. Hell, he couldn't even make 130. And then he rehydrated what 17 extra pounds. Man, listen. If you want to fight at 140 and say you're not going down for nothing, then you need to fight competition at 140. And before you paint the I'm hating jacket on me, the zone put up names on the screen. Look at the screen. Ryan Garcia at 140 pounds. This is marquee fights. They said Teofimo, Josh Taylor, Regis Progre, and Jose, Mir Mir Jose Ramirez. So it's not what I'm thinking is what everybody's thinking. How would he fare at 140 in the fights at 140? Nobody cares about him versus Ryan Garcia more than, I mean, nobody cares about Tank versus Ryan Garcia more than Ryan Garcia cares about it, okay? And right after that, they put more names up there and says Ryan Garcia at 140, marketable fights, okay? Montana Love, San Sandor Martin, Regis Progray again, and Brandon Lee. Okay, so if I'm hating, so is the zone. <laughs> So was everybody that put this together. And Ryan Garcia loves the zone. So you Ryan Garcia fans, watch what you say, okay? If the man fights at 140, being that you didn't touch nobody at 140 yet, there's a lot of fights. But how about this guy? What about this guy right here? What about Gary Russell? Gary Antoine Russell. What about him? He fights at 140 pounds. He's ranked. What about Gary Russell? <laughs> What about Antoine Russell, man? Y'all want to fight? Y'all want to see that? Him versus Ryan Garcia? Y'all want to see him versus uh, uh, Cerebral Matias? Look at the screen. Y'all don't want to see Ryan versus Matias? Yo, if you don't really know how stacked 140 is, this is a video that I put out four months ago. It says fighters 
at junior welterweight, which is 140 pounds, you should know, okay? It's This list is 17 people long, okay? The list is fire. They're all undefeated fighters or they only have one loss. Those are the people that Ryan Garcia should be calling out. One of those guys, okay? Those are the people. But let's not forget this guy right here, Devin Haney. Let's not forget the guy that Ryan Garcia ducked first. All right? There's an amateurs. They fought a bunch of times. You know what I'm saying? It goes back and forth for who won the most fights and all of that shit. We've seen some footage and all that. What about Devin Haney? He's an undisputed champion. Why don't you want to fight him at 140? Everybody named Mama know that the man got two more fights on his contract and he's moving up to 140. So what's up? And Ryan Garcia admitted that he regrets not fighting Ryan, uh, not fighting Devin Haney, what, in his second, first press con his second press conference for uh, Javier Fortuna? He admitted that he should have fought Devin Haney. So why aren't you caring about that now? He talking about a fight that will give him his respect and it's only Javante Davis at a lower weight class? You gonna make you gonna tr you're gonna tell the star that you're trying to take his star quality, you're trying to take his star ability. Ryan Garcia said who uh after I beat Javante Davis, I'll be the face of boxing. Damn. So the only way you're gonna get your respect is by making somebody that's smaller than you visibly, from a distance he's smaller than you, move up to a weight class he doesn't fight at for you that shit is sad to me man it's sad now it's no secret that ryan garcia has been clout chasing off javante davis for six years it's no secret and what i mean by clout chase that means you call out a fighter and don't fight him or don't have any intention to fight him if you know your team ain't going to make that fight and you call him out anyway and troll him like he's been doing on YouTube, very roly Romero style, been trolling him on Twitter and everything else for years. That's clout chasing, and that's what he's been doing. He admitted in so many words beyond, I mean, for, for through these years, that he was saying Tank's name to build up his own. That is clout chasing, because you knew that fight wasn't going to be near time to make, period. Six years ago, five years ago, four years ago, three years ago. But it did not stop you from making skits on Twitter and just straight being a troll. He called Javante Davis a bully for years, but Javante Davis never trolled him once. Okay, that was all his doing. Now he stands there with rapper chains on and a bunch of tattoos with his proper speaking and he's he's got y'all food, but not me. Listen, listen. There's nothing honorable in saying that you're the best, you're the fastest, and sticking out your chest, but only want to fight somebody that's in a lower weight class. If you want to get the, the respect you deserve, those are Ryan words, not mine, then you need to make weight at 135 and fight Javante Davis. Period and point blank. Always like and subscribe to the channel.